Hello, my name is Kay Sharp, and I want to welcome you to The Medicine Man. This is a store that's been in business for 63 years, and for almost 45 of it, I've been privileged to be a part of it, and now the owner of it. It was begun by a man named Tom Underwood, who came here during the Depression. The Cherokees are predominantly known for their beautiful baskets. They've been making them for years and some of them date back the older ones two, three, four hundred years. But in the last century they've become collector's items. Uh, white oak baskets, which uh, some examples appear here, like these. Uh, they make honeysuckle baskets, which people uh, enjoy. This is an example of one of those. Uh, we have the most sought after and cherished of all the Cherokee baskets is the River King. They're hard to come by, they, uh, they're very hard to make, they're very expensive. And the Cherokees are driving as much as a hundred miles to just get the cane to make it. And they're very difficult to make because they cut your hands. And so baskets are, are hard to make. They make them from scratch. They start with a, a limb from a tree or uh, a trunk and start shaving it down to make the splits for some of the most beautiful baskets. One of the oldest art forms among the Cherokees is wood carving. And they use all the native woods uh, in and around the Kuala boundary here. And they're softwoods and hardwoods and they're very warm, uh, natural carved. Pottery has been in the Cherokee history since time began. It was their cook pots, it was their keepers of things. Unlike the painted western pottery, the showy pottery I'll call it, the Cherokee pottery is very primitive. It was utilitarian type things. Now this is the famous wedding pitcher which you'll see in all of the Indian cultures and it was used in wedding ceremonies and just like in the Jewish tradition, they would drink from one side, the bride from one, and the groom from the other. This was actually in the Cherokee tradition. When the wedding was over, they would smash the pot, just as in the Jewish tradition. And pots like these were used for cooking in. And um, this is a traditional seven-clan pot. And this was used in tribal council when they would meet together. Each man brought his own stem and they smoked a common pipe and it was passed around. So pottery is an integral part of the Cherokee culture but it's not their showy thing. <laughs> 